Welcome back to Deus Ex Mankind Divided. We just returned from the Ruska station collecting some evidence that the state police was trying to keep away from us. It's time to go give it to Daniel Fletcher, Smiley Face, aka Smiley. Oh, that I, by saying that I just realized why there's a Smiley Face. Their nickname is Smiley. Hey, how's it going? Do you have the scan? Yeah, it's right here. You're a lifesaver, Adam. Seriously, Miller was in a foul mood when he left here. I don't need to give him another excuse to chew me out. He left? Where'd he go? Didn't ask, didn't think he wanted me to know. Did those state police jerks give you any grief? They didn't seem to be in a talkative mood, so I left them alone. See? Without my expert advice, you might be dead right now, Adam. A stitch in time saves nine. So what's on the scan? Oh, that. I have no idea. What? You told me you found something, something big. I didn't say I knew what it was, Adam. I said it was something that could blow this case wide open. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm not buying this whole Ark did it angle. I believe what the evidence tells me. This DSD has all the answers we need, from the chemical makeup of the explosive used down to the material in the victim's clothing. I'm sure of it. Okay, so how long until we're all sure of it? Oh, it'll take hours to sift through the data, and, and I'm seeing Sonya later to apologize for any issues I may have caused with the state police. Uh, plus, I do have other cases to work on too, Adam. I'll let you know if I- when I find something. You do that. Take it easy. <laughs> God, they are so sketchy. Ooh, I see the XP going up, up, up. Do we have another Praxis? Yes! Does that give me two or one? I think I already spent the other one, right? Yeah, I've got one Praxis. Okay, I'll spend that later. Um, next thing I want to do is we're supposed to see the psychologist to clear us for, like, active duty or whatever. Or a psychiatrist. Yeah. They were out of the office last time. Adam, I'm Delaro Zen. I appreciate you coming in to speak with me and... Well, I know you're probably getting this from everyone today, but I need to ask. Are you okay? I've seen footage from the train station, but being there must have... Is that what this is about? No, that was sympathy. This is a standard agent health interview to determine combat readiness. Here, I got you this from the dispensary. You got me neuropazine? Look, Doc, I was caught off guard by a terrorist attack. Might have knocked some things out of whack, but it doesn't mean my body's gonna start rejecting my augments. True, but traumatic experiences can kick a hornet's nest into the immune system. In patients with neuroprosthetics... Would you believe me if I told you my body doesn't reject mechanical implants? <laughs> no. But my policy is for straight talk only in the room, so if you want me to believe that you're some kind of medical miracle, I guess I'll have to go with it. Please, have a seat. I've been looking over your file. There's some very interesting history here. Mind if we take a trip down memory lane? Is this gonna take long? It says here that you were with Detroit SWAT, but left in 26 to head up Seraph Industries Security Division. David Seraph was at the center of America's augmentation debate. Uh, I'm just gonna be open here. I mean, there's... Psychiatrists, they're here to help me. David Sarif always attracted a lot of controversy. Yes, I've seen some of his interviews. A firm believer in human enhancement technologies. I wonder if the incident changed his view? Certainly didn't seem that way on the day. You were with him then? In Panchea? When the incident happened? I, actually, I just had a disturbing thought. I, I doubt this is going to be a thing, but this is a, a new psychiatrist, right? Didn't we read about them being new to this place, just coming in. So the thought did just hit me. What if they're like a plant or something, you know, gathering information? I doubt it, though. Not at first. I was investigating the people responsible for attacking Seraph Industries. I was this close to exposing them when the incident hit. You weren't affected? No. So how did you end up in Panchea? I found out Saraf had left for the Arctic installation without me. I knew it was still under construction and most of its workforce was augmented. But by the time I got there, 
the damage had been done. Is there a reason we're dredging up the past? Because I don't see what any of this has to do with current events. Don't you? Panchera was the fulcrum, Adam. For you and for all of society, everything changed that day. They dragged you out of the ocean and into a world that hates and fears people like you. Which actually leads me to my next question. So far, no one's claimed responsibility for the attack at Rizika. But, with the human restoration vote coming, well, it's no secret Prague has become the symbol of legalized augmented oppression. And the Augmented Rights Coalition is camped at its back door, trying to expose and resist it. Most of the world thinks of them as terrorists. Augmented terrorists. If it turns out they are guilty, well, being augmented yourself... How am I gonna feel? There are no easy answers, Doc. If the Augmented are behind this, maybe they felt it was their only recourse. Or maybe terrorism would stop if the ruling class realized how often their own actions contribute to it. So investigating Ark, there's no value conflict for you? Right now, I'm just a cop. And it's criminals that are responsible for this chaos, augmented or not. My job is to prevent further bloodshed. That's good to hear. Listen, Adam, I appreciate you taking the time to talk with me. I didn't realize I had a choice. You didn't. Still, I thank you. I'll let the director know that I'm officially clearing you for the field. Well, it's probably best if I get back to work, Doc. I'll see you around. You know my door's always open. Except, of course, when it's not. <laughs> oh, I don't know why that was so funny. Oh my god. Look at them getting frustrated at their computer, too. <laughs> Look at that face. Are you okay? Do you need help on how to use your computer? Also, this computer is so big. Why is it so big? Are you here to talk? No, I'm here to just look at the scale of this computer. Wow. Okay, um, so what are we doing next? Yeah, so Miller's out of the office, so we can't meet them. So yeah, it looks like we just have to go meet Alex Vega in the limb clinic. They want to tell us something about what they found from the bug that we planted. You didn't get held up at a checkpoint or something, did you? I'm inside the clinic waiting for you. Sorry, Alex. I'll be there as soon as I can. Hope you're not losing sight of what's important here. Sorry, this place just brings back memories. Don't take too long. Ooh, Bad on the way to the limb clinic, I... What? Uh, anyway, on the way to the limb clinic, I just noticed this. So I wouldn't be able to get in there normally, but because I can hack those smart objects, I think I can make the shutters go up. And a brave new world. I can deactivate, I guess, the alarm on this thing. I'm guessing that's what that is. I'm guessing if I climb on it right now, it'll make noise. But if I deactivate that and get up there, I should be able to get up there. Let's do that from kind of a little bit of a hidden place. I wonder if there's really good stuff in here. Ah, I love that person. You know, it's always nice to have just something you can rely upon, something that's just always there for you when you need it the most. Human presence detected. Engaging smart home system. Smart system engaged. Initiating personality package. Beta version 212. Okay, it's a smart home. Don't encounter those very often. Coffee filters? Don't know if I've seen those before. Ooh, yeah, we should probably turn that off. There's literally wood on top of it. It's a cool little structure. light slash art installation thingy. How does it get the power, though, for the light bulbs? Yeah. 
Cassian Valente. Anomaly detected. Trace program access granted. Your future is with I-4. Cassian Volante, simply outstanding. The speed and skill you showed in discovering and solving our modest online experiment was exemplary. To partially solve it in tandem with the AI program you were working with, Christine, nothing short of brilliant. This message may have been a surprise for you, but I-4 is always looking for innovative talent of your caliber. You may consider passing our online test the first and most important stage in our essential interview process and would strongly urge you to meet with us personally for the second. We think you'd be a perfect fit with our company on a revolutionary new project we are working on named NYX3. The concept stage, Fantasis, is complete and ready to evolve to the next. We'd like you to be part of it as we all grow. No need to reply to this email. If you wish to discover your amazing future, just stand outside... D wait, would you stand outside at 11.59 p.m. on Sunday and someone will take you there? That's creepy. That is extraordinarily creepy. We will whisk you away in the night to some unknown location. So this is about Christine. Um, hey, Fizzy. So Christine started responding to me. I mean, actually talking beyond her protocols. It was amazing. Better than any conversation I've had with my real family in years. You know, if I was an evil genius, as opposed to just a regular genius, I could have Christine actually spying on all the homeowners those smart house scientific Philistines sell to. She could report every dirty, juicy little secret back to me. Does the English language have a word for scientific Philistines? It should. The smart house guys have no idea what I've given them. Of course, without the personality strain, Christine is just a super advanced home automation system. But with it, she makes Wintermute and Neuromancer look like Laurel and Hardy. Anyway, gonna work with her some more tonight, get her to start calling me sister. Or mommy. I always did want to be a mother. I've already got her helping me with something weird, but I don't know what to make of it yet. There's something hiding on the net, though. I'm sure of it. I saw a pattern in Christine is just confirming it for me. She's learning so quickly and thinks outside of any polygonal shape I ever thought of. I love her. So cool. Damn, that is cool. Welcome, homeowner. I don't suppose this is Christine? Toggle mood. Is it the AI's mood or just the room mood? Well, let's open the panel. Toggle mood. Does this suit the mood? Does what suit the mood? I don't know what you did. What'd you do? Is it bedtime already? Nothing seems to be changing. Is this going up to? Huh. Oh, so I guess even if you weren't able to uh, hack the smart devices, I guess you could still technically get in there. It'd be pretty tricky though. Okay, to the limb clinic. We are almost there. Really doing any good. You want to try an og? A dog? A log? We'll get it for you. Anything goes at the Red Queen. You can give me a, a log and a dog? I know you can't resist, but you must. At least until tonight. Until then, only look. No touch. But, uh, yeah, where's the door to this place? Ah. These assholes try anything. Understood. Hey, 
Hey, do you mind taking one of my patrols next week? Hmm. Shouldn't have to sneak around here. It's not even a restricted zone. Hey, glad you can make it. Any trouble getting away? Miller's been giving me some leeway, but not much. I did survive a terror attack. You and me both. God, sometimes I really hate this city. It used to welcome people like us, go out of its way to entice Oggs to live here. This clinic was built because Prague saw us as its future. Now, look at it. Times change, Alex. I know, trust me. Even got the scars to prove it. We've been working together for a few months now. Still don't know much about you. What, you trolling for my secrets now? Just the good ones. How did you join the Juggernaut Collective? Well, they got me out of a tough spot. Before the incident. I was working for Bell Tower flying VIPs around Panama, and I stumbled into something big. Something very important people didn't want anyone to know about. So, they ordered Bell Tower to kill me. Janus warned you? Got you out? A friend of Janus's. Someone in the Collective who used to work for Bell Tower, too. You don't mess with these people, Adam. Not by yourself. I learned that the hard way. You're a valuable asset. The Collective could have sent you anywhere. Why Prague? You really need to ask? Ever since the incident, paranoia and racism are eating this city alive. The whole world's watching just to see how Prague handles its AUG problem. Didn't realize the entire Collective was pro-AUG. Not everyone is. But we all know our real enemies need chaos to operate in. Play the right chord, pull the right string, and Prague has plenty of that. You said we got something? Yeah, listen to this. A little heads up would have been nice. Sending your team to Dubai was my call, but now we need to go by the book. Focus on Ark. You want me to pin all of this on them? The bombings in Prague, the break-in at Besselife, and Dubai? Officially, all five attacks involved augmented terrorists. Is that clear? Yes, sir. But send me the reports if you want me to prove it. Because Ark don't operate in North America. They're setting up Ark, Adam. They sent you into that ambush in Dubai, and now they want to pin everything on the Augmented Rights Coalition. I told you Miller was dirty. I mean, he is, but he's definitely not going along with it. I mean, well, he is going along with it willingly, but... Hmm... Sounds to me like Miller's following orders. It also sounds like he's not happy about it. All right, whatever. Maybe he's just a stooge. You can't say the same about the man he's talking to. Yeah, that's what I meant. He's he's just a stooge. His boss, Joseph Manderley. Director of TF-29 operations worldwide. The only person at Interpol higher than him is the General Secretariat. We need to play this smart, Alex. Think about what we heard. What was that bit about VersaLife? You mean the break-in that never happened? Yeah, I started digging into that right after I decrypted the conversation. What'd you find? Like I said, man, it's the break-in that never happened. VersaLife is one of the biggest pharma companies on the planet. The only one still manufacturing neuropazine. If it got broken into, it would have been big news. So why are they saying it did? VersaLife doesn't produce just neuropazine. They've got a huge research and development division. Yeah, so? What does that have to do with ARC? Why frame them for breaking? They want them to look like terrorists. I guess it depends on what they'll say was stolen. See what the Collective can dig up. If this really is a conspiracy, that break-in will be the threat to pull on. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna finish my investigation. Find out who really bombed the station. I'll let you know when I turn up. Same here. Good luck, Adam. Miller, we still going to Gollum City? You are. Meet me at Kopecky's puppet shop. Your pilot's en route. I'll brief you there. Copy that. Kopecky's puppet shop? Is 
Sounds like an odd place to meet. Modern Business Review. Corporatocracy is not a dirty word. That's bullshit, it is. Anti-capitalist radicals will cite the passing of the Corporate Sovereignty Act 2017 in the United States, the establishment of pro-corporate institution, institutions such as Palisade Property Bank, and the policy change that allows large corporations to sit on the UN Security Council as sure signs that the world is no longer run by sovereign governments, but by multinational conglomerates. And what is wrong with that? Corporate power should be thought of as a mode of political power because ultimately corporations are the people and represent the people's Corporations are not people. I know there's like a legal ruling in the US, I'm pretty sure that ruled that corporations are people, but they're not people. Fuck that. I'm wondering somebody just yell filthy freak at me? Nobody's even looking at me, though. Um, I'm wondering if I should finish up some stuff here before I go to Golem City. Is Golem City gonna be, like, a permanent thing? You know, like, we're not coming back? It sounds pretty serious. Oh, apparently that's the puppet shop. Because I do still have... Well, I've got the, um, Seraph... Where my augs come from thing. I don't think I can touch that. This, though, the golden ticket, I can, I guess, Google that and figure out where Edward is. Yeah, so I Googled where Edward is, and everybody seems to be in agreement that the quest marker is bugged. Apparently, they are at the mini market behind the metro station, which I've actually been to, but before I actually had the quest. Oh, shit. Heard you're sitting on some cash, Grandpa. That true? Get lost, dog, before we turn our attention to you. Heard you're sitting on some cash, Grandpa. That's true. I'm an old man. Leave me, Frank. Go away. Go away. Please. I will call the police. I'm getting out of here. Thank you so much for what you've done. There. Nobody's mad at me. Nope, we're good. Thank you. I... I didn't know what to do. There are not many people a man like me can call on for help. What did they want? What everybody wants. Money. To feel strong. At first I thought they were here to take me away. Any moment now, they will take me away. Maybe it doesn't have to come to that. Don't get an old man's hopes up. Unless... My daughter? Did she send you? She did, didn't she? Why else would you... Please, tell me, when can I see them? Why would your daughter send me? I thought maybe... Maybe she and the little one finally decided to... To help Grandpa with his permit situation. But... She probably understands that I need to avoid detection. It is better not to make contact. When was the last time you saw them? A few years. Since the day of the... You know... The day of the incident? The time I ran naked onto a football field as a teenager, that was an incident. This... This was the work of the devil. He closed our eyes, forced us to see what he sees. That's a long time not to see someone you care about. It's not their fault. My son-in-law, he... He keeps them away from me because... Well, because... Because why? What am I, on trial? Soon you'll be judging me just like he did. Like they all did. Judging you for what, Edward? They say I became a monster. In the park. It was... During the incident. You were with your family when the signal went out. Daryl's broadcast. It caused all those augs to lose control. I grabbed the youngest by the wrists. We were spinning. We spun like mad. I don't know where it came from. This exhilaration that wasn't mine. It was reckless, I admit. There were mosquitoes in my brain. 
There was blood. They say that I... It couldn't have been me. Someone else must have... A stranger, after I blacked out. Please, tell me you believe me. Tell me it isn't possible that... I did that to him. Uh, I think I'm going to preserve the lie. It's not possible, Edward. You would have remembered. When the signal was broadcast, augmented people were made to lose control. Some of them did unspeakable things, but in your case, I don't think you're one of them. No, I don't think so either. It's just not something I could ever do. Thank you. One of them is still alive. And whether I ever get to see him or not, I want to remain as close as I can. I want to remain in Prague. Here, this permit should fool anyone at a glance. I remember the officer saying I would have to pay again. Is that true? No, I'm not here to collect. I'm here to help. I appreciate that. So, what now? Do I have to activate something? I can put on my nice coat if necessary. If I have to wait in line, I'll wait in line. I don't complain. The situation's a little less legal than that. Oh. Do you need me to break in somewhere? I'll take care of it. Just try to keep a low profile until I figure out how to validate your number. All right. I can do that. I will wait here. Lena, I met with both those odds you made permits for. Now what? There is a computer at the government kiosk that handles the Augment Permit Registry. You'll have to... access it. Quote, unquote. You mean break in? The code to the server room is 6788. Be careful, there may be other forms of security. All right, I got it. All right, so we're back in the other district now, and just right outside of the metro, there is the Governmental Registration Office. So we need to get in there. Let's take a look around. He looks pissed off. I do, don't I? What's this? Have a good time. I think we gotta go in over here. We already call it City run by criminals and scum. Ooh. There's something over here. Oh. Where does this go to? Wait, wait, what are those? Does it look like explosives or something? Huh. This might be a shortcut over to the other side, actually. Let's investigate. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Oh crap, that's gonna get me in just a second. Granted. Ah, vent. Ruzika's augmented platform crumbles. Mass privatization soon led to an economic boon which in turn led to a subsequent tax breaks for augmented workers needed to help build the new infrastructure. There were a few voices of dissent. Occasionally non-augmented citizens accused the government of catering to corporate interests over national ones, or attempted to demonstrate against the fast tracking of visas and work permits for foreign augmented workers. But for the most part, the Czech people embraced the reforms wholeheartedly. So much so that by the mid-2020s, Prague had a moderate population of Augs and had become a hub for many migrant workers traveling through the EU nations and Eastern Europe. 
no one could have predicted what would happen in 2027. With so many resident augmented workers, the AUG incident struck the Republic particularly hard. Ruzika herself was one of the victims of the tragic event. When the President's augmented bodyguard lost control and crashed her limousine into the waters of the Vitava River, where they both drowned. Yeah, yeah. Alex and I were just talking about how, or I guess they were talking about how this city used to welcome augmented people. I guess it makes some sense that perhaps the place that was most welcoming to augmented people after the incident would then become the least welcome to augmented people because they suffered the most damage from them. Yeah, those are like, um, what were they called? Uh, charge lasers? Concussion lasers? Whatever. Where it's like they're a bomb plus a laser. Why are they on the bottom of the elevator, though, and they're not even active? Like, what the heck? It's weird. Oh, is this? Tourist Information Center. Yeah. Wow. Welcome to Prague. So this is it's an old tourist place that's been totally shut down and inaccessible. Oh my god, this looks so cool. It's a totally abandoned place, just forgotten to time. Oh, I love how this looks. It's <laughs> just a hole into the back of one of the bathrooms. Hand dryer still works. I love the look of this. Whoa. I love all this destruction. Broken mirrors and just trash inside of water. Hmm, why are these marked? I'm like not even in particular looking for items right now, I'm just admiring this place. And this is, uh, this is the area, or at least how it used to look like, I guess. Can't say I can identify any place. Cool. EMP generator? Huh? I feel like there's like a quest or something here. Yeah, I'm getting the feeling there is at some point a quest down here or something. It just seems too strange otherwise, doesn't it? There's even dirt in the ventilation shafts.
Okay, where have we been and where have we not been? I'm gonna take another bio cell. So we've been in there. We've been back there and in there. Ooh. Those people are really close. Alright, we haven't been down there. I think that's where we gotta go next. Yeah, they are super close. Oh, haven't been here. Oh, just another way into the same room. Yeah. Alright, let's drop down. This is so cool. Wait a second. This looks familiar. I think I've been here. Yeah. Yeah, I remember coming to this room. Wow, I never looked up and saw that there was a big hole there. This is the uh, casino, the Diwali Casino. Where I got the calibrator. Huh. How cool is that? All right, well, I'm gonna head back out to the street. Okay, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're gonna activate the permits.